Hey, welcome back to another episode of John's Crypto Therapy. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, but of course, we're going to look at OMI. The OMI token is doing such a great job, especially being in the symmetrical triangle. We're looking for this key breakout. Is Bitcoin going to give us a great answer? In today's video, I'm going to tell you why it's important to look at Bitcoin before we judge our opinion on OMI. So let's look at this very carefully. And this is the real cool thing about Bitcoin. It was going down in this beautiful wedge, a descending wedge, a descending wedge is giving us confirmation a breakout to the upside is eventually going to happen for a lot of people that were spectating that you know bitcoin is going to go lower which it absolutely could but i do believe if bitcoin did go this low there is a chance that it can break below and that is going to be the start of a bear cycle and we don't really want to see that right because we do want to see a lot of great stuff happen to the crypto space and because of that this is why it is doing the things it's doing so let's take a look at this and see what is happening so the squares right here are zones or key points of reversals right we understood that it went lower and it was making a lower low lower high lower low formation now eventually you can see that price it did scale up but the problem with the scaling is that it was a lot of indecision candles when we look at these indecision candles they were going up very slowly we did have this wedge formation as well ascending wedge as well and we've seen a key breakout the breakout did go for a short period of time but of course underneath it found a lot of support the cool thing about this strategy or just understanding this key trick that i'm going to show you is going to give you the edge about trading see we look at the pressure in the market when you look left of structure right here, we have a huge bearish candle showing us pressure to the downside is inevitable. It is going to go lower and it is going to be strong. Right here, we do see a lot of pressure to upside, which it did not give us that great volume. It was a lot of indecision, came back down, found that key level of support. As we know, we were looking for a key breakout of this structure. This structure was going to give me a confirmation on when I should enter for a buy. That's all we were looking for. So the reasons why this is important and just to define to yourself, this is the candle of interest is because once this candle was confirmed and it was broken, this is where the entry to the upside is happening. This is where the pressure of the sellers die out and the sellers become buyers. And guess what? Because they became buyers, we had a huge rally to the upside. Look left of structure for your take profit. That would have been one of your key levels to take profit. Now, a lot of people are wondering to themselves, hey, is this a great time to buy? So this is what this video is going to be about. This video is going to give you confidence to understand, is this a good time or is this a time to reflect and maybe sell a little and understand there's going to be a bigger move after the downward pulse. So the reasons why I'm saying this, it's let's take a look at this and see why this might be a reversal right here. Looking left of structure, we have a lot of key wick rejections right here and we do see a lot of bullish pressure. Right here, we did come back to the key level of interest and of course we are underneath that as resistance so that means we are still looking at a bearish move once price breaks above structure and we do have a close above structure so when I say breaks above structure guys I do mean the candle has to close above structure I don't want to see a candle like this I don't want to see a long candle with a wick if you do see a long candle with a wick that's a rejection of price that means guess what over time this is going to go lower in order for us to be bullish and to have a strong bullish move we need the price to be above structure, giving us confirmation it did break a significant level. If it did break this level and we do have that confirmation, then absolutely we're going to see another level being hit roughly around the $52,000 mark, which is going to be great, great, great news, especially for a lot of cryptos. The reasons why I wanted to bring this up is because of this structure. There is a key reversal zone. If we do see a bearish candle right here, guess what guys, we would most likely see a pulse to the downside. Reasons why this was such a strong move and guess what, we didn't have that strong move right here in this little channel. Where did the volume come all of a sudden? Because the volume did push so fast, I am still looking for a healthy trend. And in order for me to be in a trade, I do want a healthy trend. In order to see a healthy trend, I do need to see price coming back down. 
is to give me more confidence for me to buy the market at a cheaper but also a comfortable level. So this is going to be my target. I do see a little pulse to the downside, guys. I do see that. The reasons why I'm saying that is because we had such a huge rally and now we need a relief. And in order for us to have that relief, it is most likely going to come down. Of course, if Bitcoin breaks above this structure, yes, we're gonna go catabolic. We're gonna go all the way to the 52,000 and we should be good. A lot of omis, a lot of altcoins are going to pump tremendously. Right now, I do see a lot of structural value showing me that it could go absolutely lower. The other thing that I wanted to bring up is there's a lot of things in this chart that's really interesting, guys. So bear with me here. We do have a head and shoulders that I do want to show you that the reversal did occur. This reversal was absolutely perfect to the T. We did have a neckline break, but also a wedge formation break. That is not a coincidence. This was giving me volume, showing me that absolutely we will see price going to the top. Right here, as you guys can see, we already hit a lot of our take profits. This is going to be take profit three, the top of the wick. Also two is here and one is going to be just right here. So this is really cool. It's cool to see that price can absolutely go a little bit higher, but I am looking for a reversal. Reasons why not to be bearish about crypto or anything like that, it's because of this little indicator. So as you guys can see right here, let me clean up the chart just for you guys so you can see the bigger picture as well. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these type of contents. If you are, please make sure to do me a solid favor. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It does go a long way. And of course, I am going to be introducing the Telegram group very shortly. So the next couple of videos, I'm gonna be talking about the Telegram group and why this is going to be a great opportunity to change a lot of people's lives. So it is going to be really interesting for you guys to watch my next video. So right here, as you guys can see, we are absolutely seeing price going up. So price is going up and then when you go onto the chart you're wondering why is the price going lower so this is what we call a divergence divergence is is doing the polar opposite of what it's supposed to do because of that this is a great time for us to see that price can absolutely go lower so what i'm predicting is price could go a little bit more overbought overbought does not mean that price does or has to listen to the fact that it has to go lower no that does not mean anything of that nature it could go overbought for a long period of time because i am back into a key level i'm looking for a reversal position reasons why i want to buy the market when it comes to the oversold mark but also at a key level that has shown me a lot of support and resistance over the years. As you guys can see, this was a lot of resistance becoming a lot of support. This is why it's important. So keep that in mind, okay? If we do see that reversal move, we're gonna see a lot of altcoins getting affected. So if you do see a lot of altcoins getting dumped, don't wonder to yourself, why did I not know this? This is why it is happening because Bitcoin is the leader and everyone is following Bitcoin. So this is going to be the cool part. I am going to put the Ichimoku and show you something really cool. So once I put the Ichimoku, as you guys can see, what is happening with structure? It is still bearish. We don't see a green cloud yet showing me there isn't any bullish sentiment yet. But right here, as you guys can see, price is going towards the cloud. This is why I do believe there is going to be a retest of structure. This cloud is huge. So because this cloud is huge, there's a long way for Bitcoin to break above structure for us to really get the confidence to be really bullish. What I could see happening as well, we could see sideways movement, then breaking above the cloud to give us more confirmation of a bullish bias. But right now, we are still bearish until the cloud's broken. But if you're strictly off a of pattern, this is a great way to understand that we're making a higher high and we're slowly finding that rhythm to the upside reasons why i do like talking about this cloud is because this cloud here at this very moment was a lot of support this cloud did not break so this is why a lot of people got fooled they will look to sell below the cloud but the cloud was never broken that's why we had a huge rally to the upside so once again this could absolutely happen right here just remember we have a divergence we have a key level of resistance when we are going to see a wick rejection we're going to see some candles of indecision that's when we're going to look to enter if you are one of my students we do have this retest strategy so if you are listening please make sure to try the retest strategy right here at this key point this is going to be one of those key levels where we're going to look for interest in the market for a reversal if it does break the zone we can start to pile up our confluences and start to be more bullish but for this meantime i'm not going to get fooled for the time being because 
because I want to be a patient trader. We could see a great reversal and that will be such a cool thing to see. Also, I'm going to take away this chart right now and let's draw a different pattern that we can absolutely see as well. So if we do do this as well, we see another head and shoulders forming and that's giving me more confirmation on why price can reverse to the upside. So once again, look at the key structures, look at the key rules and these are the levels we're looking for that divergence to pull back in, look for a buying opportunity and of course, the main rule do not get into a buy position until the neckline of the head and shoulders is broken. Broken. This is an inverted head and shoulders showing us bullish sentiment. Okay, keep it simple. Remember, as a trader, we're looking at a lot of things. We are in the cloud, not a clear breakout yet, but this is still bullish. But if it does give me wick rejections and a lot of indecisions and a golfing bearish candles, then we're going to look for the polar opposite and take a selling position. So keep that in mind. Okay, now most of all, we're going to get into OMI. This is going to be super fun. Let's get into that chart. I love looking at OMI because OMI is such a cool coin to look at let's get into it all right we're back into omi and the one thing i want to say before we get started with the omi token and just giving an in-depth analysis i really want to look at the fundamental side of how everything is adapting everything is changing immutable is doing so well and we have gamestop and all of this crazy stuff happening and this is why i got into this project in the beginning i do believe this is a gem this is a diamond in a shape of a rock and in order for us to see the real diamond we got to be consistent add some pressure and it's going to go our way. The reasons why I wanted to talk about OMI in today's lesson or just bring it back in for the fundamental side is because it's finally happening. We are going to get some waiting rooms for a lot of these NFT drops. And I think it's majority of these NFT drops, we're going to get a waiting room. And I think it's one in seven chances or something like that for you to even get into a waiting room. And I think if you do get into a waiting room, you do get the chance of getting a drop. I'm not really too sure how it's going to work out, but you know, the team is doing such a great job job with the bots and defining which people have bots and which people don't. I do realize the bot accounts will have their NFTs, but the cool thing is they won't be able to sell it or trade it to other people so they can just enjoy the NFT to themselves. So, you know, that does take a lot of the other NFTs and the addition numbers out of the market. So the circulation supplies for a lot of these NFTs are going to skyrocket. Remember guys, I do believe the NFTs will only go up in time if the OMI price skyrockets. The better the OMI price does, I do believe it's going to correlate with the NFTs. And of course, a lot of people that are in this project, they love the OMI token. So think about this logically. If a lot of people cash out their OMI token out a lot of money, they're gonna go into the NFT marketplace and buy some cool collectibles. Right now, before I do get into the chart, one collectible I'm always looking for is the first Spider-Mans. I've been going through a lot of the common Spider-Mans and I've been cashing out every single time. It is still cheap for me, even 700, 800 to 900 dollars. I think it's still a great value, especially due to the fact that I do believe Spider-Man is such a great NFT to have and it's going to skyrocket over time. So remember guys, if you are looking to be in the game for long term, I do believe you should absolutely have some Spider-Mans and of course Marvel's Mighty. And if they are going to do gamification, I do believe Marvel's Mighty is going to be one of those key things they're going to use. Reasons why? I think because it's easy to use and it's very easy to do animation on things that don't have so much texture or so much coloring and a lot of details in there. So I think gamification for Marvel's Mighty is going to be such a key thing and it's going to skyrocket. I do believe Omi is going to go to the moon. So guys, watch this price action and we're going to see what's the next move. So right here, we're back into the Omi chart. Let's look at the tops right here. So this is is going to be our key level we're looking for that key reversal or the key breakout of structure this 0 0.00807 is going to be such a key level and once this level gets broken i am super parabolic and it's going to go to the moon remember guys wait for the candle to close above structure for my students look for the breakout strategy if candles do not close above structure and we do have a candle like this with a wick guys this is a rejection candle do not look to buy when you see rejection candles we need engulfing strong candles especially in the shape of the green engulfing candles okay so we're looking for bullish moves okay and this is why it's going to define to you we have bullish 
pressure. So that's what we're looking for when we see a key breakout of this structure. Also in my previous videos, I did put some key levels you should write in because those levels are going to give you great reversal points on where I think it's good to sell some OMI tokens and buy back at a lower price. So right here in the chart, we do have this beautiful symmetrical triangle still playing out. And why do I love symmetrical triangles? The reasons why I love symmetrical triangles or pendant shapes in general is because they are formations to tell me there's no bias in the market. This formation is basically telling me there's no bias. It's not up, it's not down. And this is the cool thing about trading patterns. You want to see that key breakout. For me as an experienced trader, I do want to see a key breakout, but I'm not going to enter exactly at the breakout. Me as a professional trader and someone that's been doing this for a long period of time, I want to see key levels broken with that breakout in order for me to have a high probability trade. So let's look at these key levels right here. When I draw this out right here, we're seeing this as a key level of demand. Also, we're gonna look in the bottom and right here, we're gonna see a key level of support. So these are going to be my level where I'm going to dictate what is going to happen in price. So let's take a look at this right here, okay? So remember guys, it's not financial advice, this is just my advice on how I like to trade the OMI token or in general, I love to trade every single asset. Every asset is easy to trade if you know what you're talking about. So let's look at this very carefully right here. We are still seeing price making a higher high and we do see higher low formations actually happening. We are seeing this low on top and that's not really giving me too much information of a bearish move. So right here, as you guys can see, just looking at this, we do have a lot of wicks on the bottom right here as well. We wanted to hold this price so we could break above structure, which that did not happen. That's totally fine. We came back into a rally, went to the bottom. If you guys really listen to some of my key ideas and look for key reversals, there was absolutely a trade opportunity right here. If you took that trade opportunity, you would look for this level for take profits or the back end of the symmetrical triangle. Easy as it goes. We're looking to take profits because profits means you're doing something right. If you're not taking profits and you're just in this market being emotional, then you're going to lose over time. Let your emotions go, have fun with this. This is going to be fun. So what we're going to see is we're going to see a key break on not just of the symmetrical triangle. I want to see 0 0.0071 broken before I start to buy. If I do see a key breakout of a situation, and I love that entry, we are going to target 12% to the upside, which it is a phenomenal trade. If price does break down of structure, and we do see 0 0.0065, I do believe we're going to see prices go really low. The reasons why I'm saying this, if we do see Bitcoin going lower and finding that key retest of structure as resistance, we're going to see price going lower. And if we do see price going lower, this is going to be my short position. I'm gonna look for an entry here. My stop loss just above structure, go to the bottom and we're still looking at a take profit of one, 0.5. So that's still a good ratio. I do like two to one. This is what I like to teach my students, but keep it simple guys. This is very easy. So right now, as we're looking at both charts, we're so close to a key breakout. If we do break to the upside guys, it's going to explode to this level. We're not going to look for any take profits to the top until we have confirmation of a breakout of this structure. Once we do have a confirmation, we'll look for retest and buy the market. And that's going to be a key level for my next take profit. Right now, as you guys can see, this is going to be another level we could look to take profit for my second take profit, which here is going to be my third. This right here is my pillar of doom. I do want this level to be broken. Once we do have confirmation, Bitcoin does break that cloud. We are going to be super bullish. Last thing I do want to look at the Omi chart right here is the Ichimoku. And when we look at the Ichimoku, we do have this bullish cloud. This bullish cloud is still in the horizon and we're still looking at this in a positive light. And this is the beauty of trading. Once again, guys, if you remember my other video that we talked about, I did say if price does come back down and if it does not break this cloud right here, this is a reversal trade to the upside. So look at how cool this is. Price came back down, acted as support, price went back up. Right here, we do have a lot of cloud of support and this is really good. If price does break down here and we do have another confirmation, that's going to be another entry to the downside. So once again, Omi does have some key levels of support. I do believe Omi is going to go to the moon. Please be patient with this project. Whatever we're doing, we're keeping it simple and that's what I love to do, okay guys?
The key thing about this all, this is a symmetrical triangle. We're simply looking for a breakout. We don't know where the breakout is going to go, but when it does happen, look for those key levels before taking a position to the buy or to the sell. Hopefully this video does help. And thank you so much for being a part of my channel. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is my advice. Take it easy and John out. Peace.